Hey, this is Johnny from CaptureWellbeing.com and today I'd like to talk about creating change in your life. Now we all have areas in our lives where we are getting results that we're not satisfied with or we're not, we're not happy with. And in order to get new results we need to make changes because what got you here will not get you there. If you're getting a result that you're not happy with, you're not going to get a new result by doing the same things over and over and over again. So the key lies in creating a change. And now there are two ways to create change. You can either be forced to change by your environment or something bad happening in your life. Or otherwise, you can choose to create the change yourself, consciously, deciding that I want a new result, I'm going to go for it. And I want to talk about self-created change, consciously choosing to make changes. Now there are two things that you need to keep in mind when creating change. Let's say you want to get fit, you want to get healthy, you want to lose, I don't know, 10, 15 kilos. Um, and you've, you've had uh, like previous attempts in doing this and, and they haven't br uh, brought the result that you want. Well then, what will enable you to get the results you want? First of all, you, you set a goal you, uh, and, and the key is to stay committed to that goal. Let's say it's going to the gym six times a week. Now in order to stay committed to that goal, you need to find a way to put pain on not following through. That if you don't stay committed, you will have a painful consequence. And on the other hand, rewarding yourself for staying committed. So let's say, okay, you're going to the gym six times a week. You, you make a deal with your friend that every time you miss a training session, you will pay them 100 euros. Now, if you do this, you will not skip a training session as likely as if you didn't have this consequence because it is painful to lose 100 euros, it will hurt. And this will enable you to stay more focused, alert, and yeah essentially stay committed and on the flip side of the coin then if you stay committed for a full month then reward yourself with let's say a new suit a new dress whatever you like to reward yourself with but like to have these two uh two ends of the scale in balance pain of not following through and rewarding yourself of following through and staying committed and this is the key to creating change or changing habits because it's not easy to create change because essentially we are conditioned in a certain way we like what is familiar we like to be in our comfort zone and if you really want to change you need to focus on shifting these two parts of the scale that that uh, that there is pain on the other side and that there is reward or pleasure or something nice waiting on the other side so with this message, I want to wish you a lovely day and I hope this message was helpful to you and I'll see you in another video. Take care.